Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, we're going to be continuing our Amazon Soap Fest. And on today, I'm going to be testing and reviewing Surf City's Pacific Blue Wash and Wax. I've got to say, this is the most appealing packaging I've ever seen on a car soap. This just makes you want to wash your car. It's just a really nicely done package, really nicely done label. Like I've said before, I had never before heard of this car wash. Uh, actually, some one of the, uh, the viewers to the channel suggested the uh, Surf City car soap, and I checked it out, so it was on Amazon, so here it is. Um, and it reads pretty much like all the other car soaps that we've done, mix one ounce per gallon, it won't strip wax or sealant protection, it's super concentrated. Um, this is supposed to be a wash and wax. Um, so, you know, I don't know. It's a very viscous car soap. I have high hopes for it. It looks nice. If anything else, the packaging gets a 10. I mean, this is really nice. I almost don't want to open it. But anyway, as we've done before, we're going to be using our MTM submachine gun style foamer for the foam portion of the test. We'll be using two ounces of the Surf City to 10 ounces of warm water. Then we'll be switching to our bucket test where we'll be checking out the foamage of the Surf City and seeing how it performs in a hand wash. Today is the what 17th of February. It's 70 degrees outside. It's beautiful. There's a very slight breeze. Um, this is probably normal spring weather for most of the country, not the middle of winter. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this test. Um, the car's been through a couple rainstorms, so hopefully the Surf City is going to turn out to be our 10. I want a car wash to be a 10, please, somebody. Anyway, enough talking. Let's go out and see if this measures up. A little bit of sap on the car. Somebody commented on one of the videos that I'm destroying my paint because I'm touching it with my fingers. Look, first of all, this isn't a show car. This is a daily driver. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you I am not scratching the paint when I rub my finger across it like that, okay? and you won't see any swirls or anything in this paint. No scratches. Couple door dings here and there. But the Adams paint sealant that's on here is pretty strong. And um, let me see, there's actually a chip. If the camera can pick that up. I can't tell on the screen, but there's a little rock chip right there, so. But no, there's no, uh, there's no swirls or scratches other than the random chip. Anyway, I'm going to wet the car down and then we'll go ahead and foam it up and see what this Surf City can do. All right, so I've got two ounces of our Surf City and 10 ounces of warm water. Let's see how this foams. We have a little bit of wind as I'm doing this. This is a pretty thick foam when it comes out. It's comprised mostly of really 
dense small cell um, foam structure and it's got some lubrication in the foam itself. It is running pretty quick though, that's kind of weird. I'm going to tell you guys now, it's not a very pleasant smelling soap. I can't figure out what it really smells like. It's, it almost smells like hair perm. If you've smelled ladies hair perm. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for six minutes. We'll come back and see how much of the Surf City is left on the Honda. All right, here we are back six minutes later and the wind has picked up a little bit, which will affect our test results, but I'm gonna say there's probably 70% left. It has thinned out a little bit on the hood and the windshield and top and about eh, 35 or 40% left on the side. Somebody did make a good point uh, in one of my comments a little, actually today, about the test results being varied depending on temperature and the season, basically. Uh, and that, and that, is, that is true. If it were windy and the sun were out, it's possible that this whole side could be evaporated already. Uh, obviously, if it was cold with no wind, it's going to show a little bit more. So we'll see what happens when we rinse this off. I wanna see if it removes our Adams paint sealant protection. If it removes, I can see some residue here where it has dried. We'll see if that comes off with just the uh, water pressure. And also we'll see if it removed the bonded contaminants that were on the car. So here we are, we can see that it has not removed any of our protection from our Adams liquid paint sealant. There is no residue left from where it dried on the car earlier. I don't, don't really feel any sap, well maybe just a few specks of sap. So I'm gonna say it did a good job on the non-bonded contaminants. All right, so I'm gonna give this a seven and a half. It did a good job. I mean, that's about all you can expect from this, uh, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess the packaging is really, the packaging is so nice. I was hoping this was gonna be a 10, but some of the better 
cleaner <clears throat> excuse me cleaners will actually remove where I put my finger that's kind of how I judge it um, and it's not designed to do that all right because this is mostly bonded but if it really really works on the brake dust then that's an exceptional cleaner so it's a good it's a good solid seven and a half so let's get everything set up and we'll see how this performs in a hand wash okay so as i said before the packaging is phenomenal as far as just aesthetics now what i don't like about this is the smell i don't know what smell this is other than it smells like perm ladies perm so i will say this is the most viscous car soap i have ever used and i'm gonna say that this is really like jello look at that so i'm gonna have to dig my finger out and it's just one blob if you remember that stuff you used to play with as a kid called slime, that's kind of what it is like. But yeah, it's this is the most viscous car soap I have ever used. That definitely takes the cake. So we're obviously using our same three ounces and three gallons of water here. I mean, that's just crazy. And, you know, you would think this was like a uh, berry f scent or something, but I swear, I mean, it's, it's weird. It's probably one of the worst smelling car soaps I've ever come across. But, like I said before, I don't really care about the scent of the soap. I care how it performs. What I really want to see is some lubrication out of this water because there was some lubrication in the foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and you see that stuff is just sitting as a clump at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the pressure washer and let's agitate this. I have had some people ask me why I don't put the soap in first and then add the water. And the reason is because when I'm using the pressure washer, there is so much force that I, by the time I got, I don't know, two or three seconds into it, the soap blows out. So this is a, uh, it's, the foam is really not that dense. It's got a lot of medium bubbles, which you don't usually see, but I can feel just the foam feels like oiled water. That is really strange. And that, uh, the water, wow. If you guys uh, saw my Chemical Guys review, the slickest car soap I've ever felt was Wonder Wash. And I gotta say, this is at least as slick as Wonder Wash. All right, so that's a very, very good thing. It's got micro bubbles. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but it has fine micro bubbles, which you don't usually see in a car soap. Um, and they are dissipating just because it's a little windy, but it's the slickness in the water that really is going to uh, make this a, a wash that will uh, minimize your scratches. So I'm going to go ahead and get my four wash mitts, set this up, and we're going to go ahead and wash the car and see how this performs in a hand wash.
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you my final review of the Surf City Pacific Blue Wash and Wax. Look at that packaging. That's just nice. Okay, so as I said before, as a foam, I think it's a seven and a half. And I'm going to say as a hand wash, this is a nice, solid eight and a half for the hand wash. And the reason, I believe, is because there is so much lubrication um, there's just so much lubrication in that and it's just phenomenal so I'm going to basically say it rounds out as an eight overall but seven and a half on the foam eight and a half and a hand wash I am definitely going to use this again for sure at least in the hand wash the only thing that they could really do to improve this is to get rid of that nasty smell I mean, good gosh, I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to be, but it really is not pleasant. And I don't really care about the smell of a car soap until I smell this. It's just, it doesn't smell good. It smells like an old lady's perm. But I'm not going to let that detract me from using this again. And I certainly would tell you that this would be a fine addition to your uh, car wash bucket for your... Um, for your maintenance wash it's it's a good soap it's a very good soap so guys i appreciate you watching the video if you would check the link in the description box below i'll have a link to amazon where i purchased this you could pick you up one or two bottles and try it out for yourself they do have another version it's not the pacific blue but it's i don't remember what the name of it is but it's basically just not as concentrated as that but it's the same soap. So anyway, guys, I will see you on the next video.